Floyd Mayweather versus versus Victor Ortiz and uh see what they what their thoughts about the fight and and see who they think is going to be victorious or to to tell us whether or not it's a good fight indeed and if it, it isn't so let's pass in first uh Chris uh what's you're on live right now on leaving the ring brother what's on your mind yeah i just want to say that earlier both of you guys uh definitely made this you know called this fight to a T you know you, you said all Ortiz's flaws and stuff like that but uh that said, uh, I respect Floyd for taking this fight because he's taking on a fighter, you know, a young fighter who's strong and is on the come up. You know what I mean? He's he's on a right. high because he just won a title. So, uh, I mean, but I, I put it like, you know, if, if Lamont Peterson is able to make adjustments in, in the fight with uh, Ortiz, I think, you know, Mayweather will have no problem doing that. And, uh, you know, just went on points. And, um, you know, the thing about Ortiz is he's definitely a headhunter and he's, uh, he's very aggressive. So that plays right into Floyd's... Uh, Style, you know. So uh, I'm picking Floyd by decision, but this could be interesting because uh, you know Ortiz definitely brings pressure, uh, you know, with punching power and uh, some like a little bit of speed too. So you know, yeah, you know, he brings straight punches too, which right, I think is right. what you really need against him. You know, his, his punches are are technically very sound, and yep. he throws a lot of them. Granted, most guys that fight Floyd, their output drops by about half. Because a lot of times they spend time looking at Floyd, trying to figure out where to hit him. And I think, you know, if I was Ortiz, I would I would forget about the head for like right. four or five rounds. I would just neck down, beat the hell out of it. You know, just go for that body, and not even worry about you know getting around to the ribs so much unless he kind of turns. But shooting through that little hole, uh, you know, in his guard where he, you know he crosses his arm over over his waist or you know by his gut, and there's a little space in between, like, his, you know, his collarbone and down to that forearm. I'd be shooting for right in there. I'd be shooting for the arms. I'd, I'd kill that, that left arm and, and that right arm. I would just pull a, you know, in martial arts term, a destruction on it, and I would just beat the shit out of it until it can't work anymore. And then rounds five, six, from then on, you're going to see a guy that's, that's a little more stationary and, and in retreat or maybe going to the ropes, when he goes to the ropes, I just would not go for the head until deep in the fight when Floyd's a little bit more beat up. I think that's really the key that nobody really ever does. You know, and right. not just one or two shots, but hit him five, six times over and over again. Look at the old school guys. Marciano was, was famous for that, for he would just beat on, and Lamada too, beat the shit right. out of your shoulder and just that nerve right below the shoulder and until your arm was dead. And then they'd worry about your head. You, you know, know, the thing, the I, thing, the thing that that, that that I think a lot of a lot of guys don't end up trying to go to that body is because of the fact that the, the way that Floyd's angled, the way he angles his body, he he really keeps that right hand tucked where you can't see it. So when you're you you know because when you have to make a body shot, you have to drop your hands a little bit and your waist to try to you know dip in to to land a body shot, and it leaves you vulnerable on your left side. So a, a counter, and I think that's why Floyd is so successful to, to really discourage a lot of guys throwing that body shot. You know, where Jose Luis Castillo's body shots and even Oscar's body shots were up close. They were almost hugging. You know what I mean? There was no opening so that Floyd can land that counter right hand. And that's why I said well, Victor, to me, has to really go into this fight understanding that He's not going to be able to counter Floyd. He's just going to have to smother him, and he's going to have to be reckless, you know, just bang all over the place like you're saying with Marciano and, and, and Jake Amato have done in the past. He's just got to really understand that no matter what you do with Floyd, you're not going to match him, and you're not going to be his equal, you know. And, and when you're not their equal, you've got to try to bring him down to their level. So to me, Vic's got a big – He's got a lot of stuff on his plate with this fight here. Not only he's got to bring an A plan, he's got to have a B, C, D, F, you know, F, G, E, the whole works. He's got to come in with a lot of different things into this fight because he he only can register himself in one round that Floyd's going to figure him out on that next coming on, coming in round. You know, and Floyd's been notorious for that. Right, and I, I, I also think Ortiz is definitely susceptible for, for right hands. You know, I saw him get hit time and time again by Peterson in that same fight. And by Berto. Uh, Exactly. He got dropped by Girdle by a right hand. So, I mean, uh, and Floyd's just, his reflexes and everything, I don't know how they're going to be on that night, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be how they always are. But, you know, Ortiz definitely, this is a fight that he wants. He's, you know, he's wanted these type of fights, so we're just going to see how he does with Floyd. I honestly just think Floyd's going to, um, you know, just definitely read him 
during the fight and uh, take take the decision. Possibly drop Ortiz, maybe late, but still win the decision. Let's pass in some other fight fans that want to talk about this fight here that have been waiting on hold. Let's go with uh, Anthony, who wants to talk about the Victor Ortiz and uh, Floyd Mayweather. You're on live right now, brother, on Leaving the Ring. What's on your mind? Hey, what's going on, fellas? Just uh, talking about the same subject. Uh, I think with uh, Mayweather and uh, Ortiz, I don't think, I don't think, I think Mayweather's going to take a decision, but I think Ortiz is going to have his moments. I think both people are going because Ortiz is only 24 years old. And I think uh, if he if he loses, but he loses in Valor, he's still gonna gain some. He's still gonna gain a lot of respect through boxing fans and through casual fans. I mean, he's he's big, he's strong, he's got a. I think he's got a lot of energy. I don't seem like Vargas De La Hoya, like how y'all said before, because when Vargas fought De La Hoya, he was on steroids, whether he knew it or not, and he got he was tightened up, he was real tight. And uh, I just think uh, Ortiz is gonna have his moments, maybe, maybe get him. But I just think Mayweather's not gonna not gonna be able to close him out and knock him out, so I'm just picking Mayweather by uh, decision, but I'm hoping Ortiz puts on a good show, so at least, at least he can get uh, respect from the boxing community, come back online, because he's only 24 years old, so I think he's going right. to get better. Absolutely. He's going to get paid a little yeah. money and get on the big stage, just so you right. know, he, he well, wins in that turn, but if he, if he loses, money. loses good, he's still going to win. Uh, to me, if he doesn't get blown out, it doesn't embarrass himself, and, and generally look at the, the pattern of Floyd Pipes. First, you know, Two to four rounds, he usually gives up, you know, at least three of those, or at least, you know, half of those um, to mm-hmm. his opponent as he, as he figures them out and the guy looks good. It's again why I keep saying De La Hoya Vargas, because, like, remember, you know, Vargas was kind of tentative early on, but then he took over, and he was kind of winning the fight and doing well, but he kind of shot his water early, and Oscar kind of figured him out, kind of used a little bit of that Mayweather style, but then kind of freelanced at the end and went back to his original style. Uh, and flurry to the body, came back with that left hook, and it was good night. And I could see Bar- I could see him doing that with with Ortiz, which will be will be interesting in the fight. I think is seeing if Floyd is able to manhandle him the way that he manhandles a lot of his other opponents. And most people think of Floyd as a finesse fighter, but uh, I tend to disagree. I think he's a very physical, very uh, tactile fighter. He really puts hands on you in different ways. He uses his elbow and his forearm right up into your throat, uh, uses that same forearm down in the back of your neck. He does all those little things. He'll tie you up and twist you around so that you're, you're pushing against him and, and resisting, and he's using your own energy uh, to tire you out throughout the fight. And I'll be curious to see if he's able to do that with, with Victor. Um, you, you know, r- really quick, brother, before we go to the next fight here, because um, we, we do have a caller that's been on hold for a minute, and I, wa- I want to patch him in just to hear what they got to say, if we can, and then, um, then we'll finish yeah. off our... our, our our fight preview here. Uh, let's let's patch in. Uh, let's patch in Jose. What's up, brother? You're on live right now. Leaving the ring. What's on your mind? Hi. How you guys doing? Doing good, good brother. Man. How you doing? I'm doing great. And uh, you know the fight that's coming up between uh, Victor Ortiz and and Mayweather. That's a that's a great fight. That's I was excited fight. about yeah. <laughs> when the rumors started that they were gonna fight, I, I I was excited. I was like, damn, I hope this fight happens for reals. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad that they finally confirmed it, and it's going to go down. And you know, the, win, lose, or draw. I think Victor Ortiz is going to be a winner because you know he's fighting right. a big name, and it's going to put him in the big leagues. Now that he's fighting Mayweather, and that's going to open the doors for him. I just, I just hope he does well. He yeah. does well, and and you know, it's going to be a good fight. Absolutely, I agree, brother. I definitely agree. Jose, thank you for calling in, brother. I'm going to put you back on hold. Okay. All right. Thanks. Well, there you go, Fight Fans. Hey, thanks for tuning in with uh, myself, Dave Duenas, and Gabriel Montoya here on Leaving the Ring. If you missed the show, you can catch it on the replay on the site. Hey, get your questions to the... uh to the to the mailbag at leaving the ring at gmail dot com. I mean, we did get a, a bunch, <laughs> and we didn't post them up for this week. It should be up uh, a first day Monday morning. You guys have a great night. 